Hey guys, it's Patty, and this video tutorial is for anyone who's ever wanted to produce their own cooking videos for YouTube, Skillshare, or just for fun. I'm actually going to show you how to create a simple cooking show using any or all of the following elements. A simple animated intro title, a talking head intro, some point of view shots of your cooking process, some talking headshots of you and other people in your shoot, some overhead point of view shots and a talking head outro. I'll also quickly cover adding voiceover and some sound effects and music. So if all that sounds interesting to you, let's take a look at the example video I shot then edited in KineMaster and I'll show you how I did it on the other side. Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome to Why Didn't I Think of That? Today we're going to turn porridge into something your kids will love. In a small saucepan, add two cups of boiling water, one cup of oats, a pinch of salt, and a block of your favourite chocolate. Trust me when I say that this magical ingredient is a game changer. Give it a stir to combine all the ingredients and you're done. Your kids will love this amazingly simple recipe. I'll eat porridge every day if it tastes like this. Mmm, it's so chocolatey. Don't feel limited to using just chocolate. You could try any of these variations. A freshly ground cinnamon and a generous helping of white sugar. Delicious walnuts or sweet sultanas. A selection of your favourite seeds. Whatever you like, as long as it's covered in a sweet sprinkling of you know what. Making porridge taste great is easy with a little know-how and a lot of sweetness. Now, of course, I did that whole chocolate thing just for laughs. What I actually do is steep a cup of hot water with a licorice and cinnamon tea bag before adding it to the oats. But I digress. It's time to show you how to create your very own show intro. OK, let's make a cool intro. First step, click on your media button and click on photo, select background and choose any one of these colours. I'm just going to go the orange one. It doesn't matter which one you choose and let me show you why because if you select the background you can actually change the colour and I'm going to choose this purple colour then I'm going to hit the checkbox and we are good to go. Is that the right duration for your intro? If it's not, select the track and you can slide these yellow handles backwards and forwards to make them exactly the right length for your intro. And now the next step, let's just hit that checkbox. Select layer, go to media and in this case I'm clicking into my KineMaster folder for a piece of footage that I shot earlier for this purpose. So you will obviously have your own footage and that's fine. Once you've selected it, if you click on split screen and you select here, it'll take it up to the full screen size. But if you go back, you can actually also drag it up. So you've got a couple of options there. Let's click back out of that. And now deselect our track, have a little look, play it through. OK, that's cool, but we need to see through this track. So let's select it again. We can do two things. One, we can select Alpha Opacity and just reduce that down. If you're on the free version of KineMaster, that's a good option. But if you have the premium version, let's go over here and do something even cooler. We'll go into Filter, click Basic Color Effects, collect this guy here. I love that look. Hit the checkbox and then select it again and go down here to blending, soft light and just reduce that effect a little bit and there we go. So now we're looking really cool, we've got a nice cool background, it's purple, it's moving and now we just need to add some text. Let's type in our title. Let's put our cursor in the middle, hit return, hit the checkbox. Now from here I can drag, just like I did with the layer before, make it a little bigger, perhaps 
select this corner here and angle it a little, little bit. And now we can change the font by selecting here and choosing whichever font we would like. Okay, that's looking very nice indeed. Now let's animate it onto the page by selecting in animation and choosing from one of these options. I'm going to go with scale down and just down here you can actually adjust the duration of that animation. Let's make that a little quicker. Perfect. So the final thing I want to do is add a little bit of a sound effect when it hits onto the page, so about at this point here. Now I could make this sound effect and record it with my mouth, just some sort of a thud or something like that. But for our premium KineMaster subscribers, you can click on audio, click into the asset store, click into sound effects on the left hand side here and see this one here, boxing sandbag. Click on download and get that installed onto your system. Once it's installed, you can click into SFX assets. And here we have our boxing bag sound effects. Click the plus and now let's listen to it back again. Move this across a little bit by pressing on it and dragging. And the second thing, I can actually hear a bit of sound on that background layer that I added before. So let's click into the mixer and let's just deselect that sound. Click OK and we are good to go with our intro. You'll have seen many cooking video examples where all you see is point of view shots. But if you want to stand out, recording a talking head intro and outro where you present to camera is a great approach. Put your camera on a tripod or balance it on a shelf and deliver one or two lines to camera to let people know what you're going to cook and in a way that's going to get them excited about watching your entire video. You really want to keep your intro brief and to the point. Your outro is where you can relax a little bit. If people are still watching your video at the end, they obviously want to hear from you. So thank them for viewing. Then use the time to get them excited about your next video. I don't mean, hey, come back and check out my next video. I mean, you should know what you're going to be shooting next and prime your audience for that content so they've got a reason to come back to you. In the middle of this video, we have one more voiceover piece or piece to camera, and that is this little section here with Rachel talking. Let's go and watch that through for just a second. Your kids will love this amazingly simple recipe. I'll eat porridge every day if it tastes like this. And there's a reaction shot from Liam. And we've got a reaction shot from Riley. Mmm, it's so chocolatey. Now the only problem is this all takes quite some time to get through and we want to condense the time down. So this is where I really love editing. It's like a big jigsaw puzzle, as I've said before. If we click on this piece here, we have a new button over here where we can extract the audio just with one simple click. And the audio has some nice big waveforms in it so we can see what's going on there with the sound. Now, if we go over to this shot with Riley, as that, uh, actually there's two shots here I just noticed. So we have, this piece here and this is really the bit that we want if we if we can get this piece here as the bowl comes down around about there something like that trim to the left okay and then we're sort of into the eating and move that shot press hold drag across to here now because we've extracted the audio, as we are placing this down, just click on that yellow handle and push it across. And then what we should have is the audio continues as we match cut to Riley. Let's just watch that through. Your kids will love this amazingly simple recipe. Okay, that's good. We don't want to hear me at the very end of that. 
So we'll just trim that little bit of end off. And then over here, we see Liam eating and reacting. So let's get him as he looks really happy. We'll just assume that he's already had a piece of this porridge and pretty much straight into it. I'll eat porridge every day if it tastes like this. And we'll trim to the right. And then Riley, we don't need to wait and see her do all of that either. We can actually get her to the point where she's just trying it around about here. And trim that. And let's watch that through. Oh, there's a little bit here. We could probably trim this off. There's a fair bit happening there. Let's trim it from there. So now we've really condensed this down. Let's see how it looks. The audio has fallen out of sync now, but we can fix that. Let's just delete that audio, click back on the track, and just extract the audio again. That is the wonderful thing about KineMaster. It actually extracts a copy of the audio. The actual audio is still here. It's just muted. So that's a fantastic feature. I love it. Here we go. Your kids will love this amazingly simple recipe. I'll eat porridge every day if it tastes like this. Mmm, it's so chocolatey. Well, you get the idea. A little bit more finessing there. I won't make you watch me do that, but you get the idea. For an overhead point of view shot, set your camera up over a bench top, then try moving ingredients in and out of the picture. Even if it takes you a few tries to get the shot you want, provided you don't bump your camera on the tripod, you can cut out the bits you don't want and no one will be the wiser. Point of view shots don't actually always have to be static either. You can break things up with a little clip of you walking with a tray or fetching a lid from a drawer. These kinds of shots when used in moderation can keep viewers interested and watching till the end. When you show your ingredients, you might like to add a little graphic for each one. And this is one of the things that KineMaster does really well. Create it once, copy paste, drop it into the next ingredient and you're done. Once you have all of your shots filmed and edited into your timeline, record your voiceover and drop in some music. I cover this in detail in another tutorial, so be sure to check that one out. Creating a video is a bit like putting together a big jigsaw puzzle and it's never fun to get to the end to discover a piece missing. So to make editing easy, be sure to get lots of extra close-up food shots or other action as you cook. And it's also a good idea to record a few shots specifically for sound so you can cut these in as required. The more options you have when it comes time to edit, the better your video and the more your audience will like it. So I'm just at the very last part of this project and the music is just a little short. Now I could extend the music but I think I can tighten this edit up, particularly this clip here. Watch what happens here. Making porridge taste. So we have a little bit of a gap between the voice over here and this clip starting. So all we need to do is actually reduce the size of this clip down just a little bit, like about there. And now if we extract the audio and drag our audio back this way, we can actually drag our audio over the top of this footage of Liam with the sugar. So now let's have a listen back. As long as it's covered in a sweet sprinkling, Making porridge taste great is easy with a little know-how and a lot of sweetness. There you go. That's much better. And the music lasts exactly the right amount of time. That's how you do it. If you have any questions about editing, be sure to drop a comment below. And don't forget, if you've got a support issue, you can email from directly within the KineMaster app for swift assistance. I'm Paddy McCann. I'll see you next time.